Welcome back to another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me. I am your host, Troy Stegner. Please subscribe to our channel before we get into this. Uh, the metrics really do help us to do more cool videos like this. And hit that bell icon. You'll be notified whenever we put up a new video. I have something really cool for you guys. I'm that should be a hint. That's my deboxing tool. I have oh, side shows. Oh. Harley Quinn. Hardly Quinn. I mean, look at this thing. It is, it's beautiful. This is not from Batman Adventures Harley Quinn. This is more of your uh, Connor Palmiotti uh, Harley Quinn, or, or maybe, you know, the era right after that, where she kind of was uh, in the roller derby and did her own thing. And oh, this thing is pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So we're going to, okay, I like how they did this one. Usually taking it out of that box is the hardest thing, but they got, I don't know if you can see in the styrofoam, there's handles built in. Usually they were just little divots. Okay, that didn't really help, but if you get up under here, you can pull it. They get, uh, it, it gets kind of suctioned in there, I guess. Uh, Sideshow symbol, usually you want to put up on top. So that when you open it, pieces, parts don't just drop out. That's usually how they got it, so you know which part of this is the top. So you don't. Yeah, I mean, it'd be a shame because a lot of these, especially the statues that sell out, it's hard to get replacement parts if they have any at all. And we don't want that. We're going to avoid cutting the sticker there just because it's just a thing I do. I. I really don't like cutting through the stickers. So we're just going to use that as a hinge. Yep, as long as there's nothing on top. And there's not. You can see right here, uh, we got this is the premium format, Harley Quinn. There's an empty spot right here. If you had bought the exclusive, which they only made, I mean, this is a limited number. There's only 2,000 of these. There's even more limited number that came with the second head. The second head was the the classic Harley Quinn head with the, the half black, half red uh, headpiece, face mask, whatever you want to call it. Okay, this one is just the regular premium format, so we won't have that extra head. But if we did, that is exactly where it would be. Okay, this one, not a lot to it. I mean, it's still cool. It's 20 inches tall. It's a premium format. It's going to be really, really detailed. It's just uh, they did it in a lot of bulky pieces, which is good. We like that. Okay, pulling the base out, easy to do. You can see there's her, her diamonds and stars. Pretty iconic for um, Harley Quinn. Actually, those aren't all painted on. I, you can feel that they are kind of etched in. And her name is raised. It's actually raised off the platform, and it's got the, the fake glow paint behind all the things, so it makes them look like they're kind of neon. On the bottom here, you can see limited of 2,000. This one, how low a number did we get? Typically, the lower the number, the better. 611. That's typically from uh, castings that, you know, the, the first few they say are the best and then, you know, the equipment gets loose and, you know, things change. They, they say the first few castings are usually the, the ones that are more accurate to what they wanted. Okay, to lift these out, you want to be really careful. There's a lot of small pieces on these. You don't just want to grab like her leg and pull up or you might just pull up just a leg and it'll break off from her body. So we're going to kind of reach under her hips here, pick it up at the bulky part of the body, because if, oh man, if any of this broke, I would just cry. So take off the big. Yeah, right away I noticed, I mean, the socks almost look like cloth. I had to check. They're just... Very, very contoured, detailed. I like that a lot. Uh, she's got her roller derby pads on, a diamond in the star. 
Uh, red and black, of course, are her icon. Okay, the, the little poofs, the little puffy balls on her roller skates, those are actual puffy balls. They just, that's not uh, ceramic or polystone. So, oh man, it's really, really detailed. Her bustier. Okay, the zipper doesn't move. I just wanted to check. Uh, she's holding, uh, this is going to be her hammer. The handle is behind her. She's going to be looking over her shoulder, of course, with this one. She's got her jacket on with the dice and the 5150 on the back, kind of falling off her shoulder, all uh, cutesy, all coy-like. Uh, she's even, uh, if you look at her hands, they're even manicured. One hand has black nails, one has red. Uh, let's see. Yep, and it's the, of course, it's the opposite of the wheels on the skates. So, you know, black, red, black, red, swapping back and forth from side to side. Same with the boost you get black on this side, red, and then the opposite on her shorts, opposite on the socks. You know, I guess it may, you don't want just one whole side being red. It's, she's not Deathstroke. So, I believe she's going to be looking over her shoulder towards you, toward the front. So, I'm going to line up the Harley name up front because that's what you want up front. Keyed. Uh, if you can see on the bottom of the skates, these are some really deep keys. Uh, they're usually not that deep. Uh, I'm guessing they didn't want it to topple over. And we're going to put those in. Let me just set her down for a second carefully here. There's two holes in the top here. I don't know if you can tell. One is black inside and one is red. So that is more than likely going to correspond to the color of the skates. The, or I'm sorry, the pegs under the skates. We've got a red peg and a black peg. Yeah, that's uh, if you want her facing that way, that's how it's going to work. Wow, that, that fit in just perfect. Usually you have to play with it a little bit. This one, it just slid right in. I like that. I love it when they go together easy. Um, don't know what, oh, this is the head of the hammer. Yeah, let's do that first. Why not? So this is going to be her iconic hammer. One of the most iconic hammers besides Thor in comics. Okay, uh, the beat up weathered side, I had to look. One, you know, both sides have this, the diamonds and their stars on each head. Uh, the weathered side is the side you want facing out for people to see. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell. It's pretty weathered. And this is, I don't see a magnet unless there's a magnet inside. So this is going to be a friction hold. Ugh. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm used to working with magnets and you can feel the magnets grab. This one, I don't think there's a magnet in there. That's just a, a, a friction hold. I mean, there's a metal pike here, so I'm, maybe they've got a, a peg hole drilled inside the hammer for more stability, but man, I, I'm not sure about that. If I had it at the house, I, I'd be tempted to glue that hammer head on there so it doesn't fall. So the last piece, like I said, not many pieces on this one, which is not a bad thing. Is the head and we're going to be very careful I, she has the pigtails don't grab it by a pigtail and pull up or you might just pull the pigtail right off the head uh, we're going to go like forehead back ahead uh, where the bulk of the stuff is and just pull, lift it straight up it comes out so easy so easy okay I'm going to pull her out of the bag there oh that's pretty and see, here's what I'm talking about, all the little hair strands. Uh, I mean, if you, you don't want to accident, and be careful when you grab the forehead, too, that you don't grab. There's a couple little strands that fall down in front of her face. So I said you want to be very careful and delicate and just kind of grab front and back. Don't force it or use a lot of strength. Just kind of wiggle. If it doesn't come out, you just keep working it. It'll, it'll eventually pop out. Wow, this is so... Let me check out these eyes. Yeah, okay, so she's looking... Up and over. All right. Yeah, this is so pretty. It's uh, keyed. 
as most of our stuff is, and I'm guessing that's going to be magnetic. We will find out when we stick it in there. The top of her neck, you can see, and there's even the neck muscles are strained a little bit where she's, you know, looking back and over. The way they have these keyed, you really can't put it in the wrong way. It won't line up right. Like, oh, oh, you mean she's not supposed to be looking for it? No, she's not. She's supposed to be looking over her shoulder, so it's probably going to be, yep, a sideways type thing. And to hide the line, they she's wearing a choker to kind of disguise that join line. And the jo the choker has a uh, heart right there in the middle. Oh man, I like this. And with the uh, the old school Harley head, you know she's wearing the red and black, and the mask is your delineation line there. So it kind of masks that that join line. So pretty, oh my goodness. One of the easier ones to put together also. Uh, like I said, this is a, a Harley Quinn Premium Hell on Wheels. Available on sideshow.com. Oh. And, and this is the, the Harley that I'm used to. I, I never really liked her much in Batman Adventures with the red and black Harlequin suit. I liked her more in the uh, I guess your Arkham Asylum uh, and the Connor Palmiotti style of Harley. I'm trying to find something wrong with it, man, and I'm just not. I am. The only thing I really am hesitant about is the hammer, the head of the hammer being just frictioned on there and not magnetic. I think maybe they should have put at least a small magnet inside the head. I don't know. Maybe it's too difficult. See the belt. Oh, the belt does move a little. The the belt is not uh, molded onto the body. See, it comes all the way. You can kind of, I mean, I don't know why you'd want to. It lays across her hips just like that. Boom. It's so good in its simplicity. This is a great addition to anybody's Batman, Joker, Harley type collection or DC. Especially if this was your favorite iteration of Harley, which it is mine. So we're just going to turn her back. I like that. So, there you have it. That is the Harley Quinn Hell on Wheels premium format statue. Uh, easy to put together. Uh, limited edition. Uh, this this should go up in value, uh, especially with as popular as Harley is. Uh, Suicide Squad, the movie coming out soon, so there might be a resurgence in Harley's popularity. But you can't go wrong with this this statue. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more like it, subscribe. Please, please subscribe. It really does help. These statues aren't free. We actually have to pay for them. And if you'd like, you know, to see more of these, subscribe. Help us with the metrics, man. Hit that notification button. Okay, every time we put one of these up, you'll see it. Wow. Yeah, this is beautiful. So, yeah, until the next video... Later, nerds. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or e? What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG.